Welcome to the grand opening of the Glendale Sciences and Technology School Story Cafe. So the Story Cafe um, started out as um, a morphing of an idea from a club that they had started here last year under a different counselor. Hello and welcome to Glendale Science and Technology School. My name is Sadie Solothar and I'm the Director General of the Glendale Student Council. I do talking circles with the kids where the kids do share their stories and part of it is building empathy, realizing that we all come into this building and into our communities with our own personal experiences, hurts, heartaches, hang-ups, whatever they are, and understanding that about another person builds empathy. Uh, I don't know if you noticed in the walls uh, of the cafe are all decorated with those stories. So as we um, display each of the students' stories, then they get taken down and they're recycled into the uh, story cafe where they become basically our wallpaper. You're 22 years old. There's no way you're going to climb it. Actually, so what I feel this is going to help our students with is they are going to learn not how to not only how to ask questions, but what questions to ask. And when they ask those questions in regards to what are my goals, what do I want to do, what do I want to be, okay, that's what I want to do, what do I want to be, how do I get there, what are the steps? Phil was very good at showing us what steps that he had to take to get not only to the summit, but even to get to Nepal. Okay, and then take your step and plan it. And so it was a big, I think at that point in time, it was a big point for me where I was just with my dad um, up on a mountain where I love being and, you know, simple, the, uh, a very simple thing in life, but yet so deep and so meaningful. And I was just able to put the pieces of the puzzle all together and I could see it connecting. I could see it all coming together and I was like, yeah, let's do I think it. At one point we were both 90, 90 and 95 pounds in that pack. A lot of issues that people go through now are like pressure issues or just the families are always saying, you have to become this, you have to do this for us, when the families need to kind of step aside a little bit and let their children have some more freedom to pursue their own dreams and figure out what they want to do instead of their family being like you you should do this instead, like you'll, you'll never make it if you do that. To me it doesn't really matter who you are, what you've been through, I'll always listen and try to help you as best as I can. I'm very well spoken, I don't really know why, it's just I'm used to talking a lot and I just, I take things that are thrown at me pretty well. With this age group in particular, the boys have different interests um, and of course the Inspire Leadership group is an option class. Um, at this age, the girls tend to be more mature, um, just generally speaking, and I don't want to say that about all our boys because we do have some great boys in that class too, but generally speaking, the girls have matured um, more quickly through this phase of their life, and so they're more prepared to uh, go into those roles where they, they don't need to be getting something intrinsically out of it themselves. They're ready to give back.